Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. And with Blueberry, the community that gives creators the power to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get a 30-day free trial by using promo code BLUEBERRY004. And I'm going to welcome Chelsea Mont. Monty Brommer. Monty Brommer, yes. Monty Brommer, CTO of RuSense. So yes. tell me about RuSense. So at RuSense, we have an integrated fabric sensor to help athletes learn about their sweat to prevent illness and injury. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So is this an actual, where is the, there's always a problem. Right, Where yes. did you detect this problem? So the, the biggest problem is that when athletes are exercising, they're really just guessing about how to hydrate. So everyone loses a different amount of sodium in their sweat. Yeah. Right now, you might need one drink. I need a different drink. How do I determine it? I guess and check. Sure. And if I guess wrong, that could have really dire consequences, especially if you're doing something really high level like a triathlon or a marathon. Sure. And so the real problem is how do I know what I need to drink versus what you need to drink? So initially, we tell athletes whether they're a low, medium, or high salt sweater, and we give them a more personalized hydration plan. And then as they continue to wear the sensor, it can learn about them, know what their baseline levels are, and it can tell them, okay, you're getting a little dehydrated. We suggest you drink X and this amount. Uh, and if they start to get overhydrated, which is a huge issue uh, that's coming up now that sports drinks are so popular. That's right. People think, oh, I need to drink, drink, drink. I need to get my eight glasses of water a yep, day. Yep. And, and so they overhydrate, and that's actually deadly. Uh, Interesting. And so that's a huge issue. Uh, unfortunately, in the Cleveland Marathon this year, we had an incident uh, where someone passed away during the marathon, a healthy 20-year-old soccer player. From overhydration? From overhydration, Okay, yes. so I, that I don't even understand. Yeah, so you, if you dilute the sodium in your sweat, too, in your body too oh. much, you can't function. So <coughs> she was replacing with water where she should have been having something with some sodium Correct. in it. Correct, correct, yes. Uh, so so, so we want to help athletes stop guessing and really okay. take control of their hydration. So is this then designed to be, I, I assume then, if you're going to run a marathon, a yes. triathlon, this yes. is something you would wear. Yes, correct. And it's going to be able to app for that. Yes, app for that. Now, yes. most of these athlete, athletes are not carrying a phone. They might have a watch. Right, so it can go to your watch or to your phone. And if you're in a team sport, it can go to the coaches. To the coaches. Yeah, so they will have the information uh, and so after we learn about uh, sweat, so really there's never been a good real-time monitor for, so for sodium ion concentration. As we can learn about sweat, we can envision going into markets like first responders, anyone who wears a hazmat suit, uh, right. a forest firefighter. Yep. How long yep. can they be in there? I've been in a hazmat suit. Uh, I'm sure it was a lot of fun. No. <laughs> And yes, you come out about seven pounds later. Right, exactly. And I was doing this in, in uh, Central California in the middle of the summer. Yeah. So yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. So is it then? Is it a patch? Is it interwoven into the fabric? Right. How have you how have you implemented right. this? Right. So we we make the fabric in our in our company. Um, currently, we've been uh, embroidering it into compression sleeves. Okay. Uh, so it goes right on the forearm. It could be a patch. Uh, it could go into a t-shirt. Uh, it could go into insoles of your shoes, uh, headbands, really whatever your athlete feels comfortable wearing. And then what is the transmit? Bluetooth? or Right now we're using Bluetooth, um, but if you know we end up in a big team sport, yep. we can easily go Wi-Fi. Or, or RF or something. Yeah, something too. else. Yep. So that's very interesting. So you know the health tech to me is getting pretty exciting because not only is this for a triathlete, this could be for a bodybuilder. Correct, exactly. It could be for me, it's at the gym on the elliptical machine. Mm -hmm. Right. It, uh, so it really runs the gambit. Now, as an example, my wife says, I don't need water. I, 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 don't, I don't like to drink water. Is it for the non-athlete too? It could be, yeah. So once, initially we think, you know, athletes are going to find the most value in it. But as we learn more about the human body, it could easily transition into the non-athlete. So usually if you think you need a salty drink, you're already way behind the power exactly. curve. Exactly. That is correct. That is exactly so correct. So the goal is here is to keep that equilibrium mm -hmm. the same all the way through. Right. And I don't even know. What is, is it a pH level or? Uh, so we monitor uh, sodium ion concentration. Okay. Uh, so we, we, we kind of grab it right out of your sweat uh, yep. onto our sensor. It's reversible. So as you keep sweating, 
Uh, you can either see an increase in your concentration, which would be an indication that you're dehydrated, right. or a decrease, which would be an indication that you're overhydrated. Any performance results on this already? So that is a great question. We get asked a lot. Uh, and the answer we tell people is there have been studies that show it could increase performance up to 30%. Uh, but because no one's ever been able to do real-time adjustments, we don't know. It could be more. It could be less. Uh, but we do think that there will be some performance implications. Available now or coming to market? Uh, coming to market in 2021. Outstanding. So looking for partners or We're where are you at? We're looking for partners. We're looking for investors, uh, anyone that can help us uh, get to market. So RooSense, is it RooSense.com? It is www.RooSense.com, correct. So it's R-O-O-S-E-N-S-E.com, yes. so everyone knows it's R-O-O. Interesting, very interesting. Where are you guys based out of? We are based out of Akron, Ohio. Okay. Uh, so we're a spin out of the university, which is why we are RooSense, okay. because our mascot is a kangaroo. You know, what's interesting is uh, I have an office in Columbus. The people that were in here before were, were from Cincinnati. You guys, so lots of Ohio lots business of Ohio today. Lots of Ohio business today, yes. So is that, are you out of Case or? Uh, we're out of the University of Akron. Oh, out of Akron, University of Akron. Okay. I'm from Michigan, so I'm sorry I don't know all no, the. No, that's okay. No, that's okay. <laughs> we're a small public school. Uh, with a great engineering program. Outstanding. Well, very exciting stuff that you guys are doing. So are you exhibiting downstairs? We are in Eureka Park uh, at the Case Western booth. Uh, so Yeah, the Case Western guys are great. Yes, they are. They've been very uh, yeah. nice to us as a... Uh, kind of squatting in their booth yep. from the University of Akron. Yeah, and we have uh, we got some alcohol from them last oh, year. Oh, yeah, they, we had a nice reception <laughs> last night. We brought some Cleveland whiskey. Uh, yeah, so. so that's good. So everyone, make sure you check out RooSense.com. If you think this is something cool, you're in a health tech space or you're looking to put some money into something, it's just, I think there's some potential here. And are you going to try to get some some people using this in, in running triathlons and marathons. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So get some performance testing. Yes, exactly. Because I think that's going to help you when it comes to trying to raise right. cash. Yeah, we've done some, we've done a lot of tests in the exercise science lab and we're really excited this year to get out there at some big triathlons and, and really put it on real athletes and see what they're doing. Well, we look forward to seeing you next year when you've come to market. Yes. Come back, please, and tell us how it went. Oh, we definitely will. And uh, again, thank you for coming on the right. show. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.